Welcome to this Hockey Inside Out bonus episode. I'm joined by former Canadians defenseman and assistant coach Rick Green and our hockey and analytics guru, Andrew Berkshire. Nick Suzuki, 30 goal scorer this year. The offense is there. The defense is there. Two-way player. Rick, do you see a Selkie trophy as the best defensive forward in the NHL in his future? I don't I don't see why not. I mean, uh, this kid uh, never ceases to amaze me as far as how well this guy plays uh, with and without the puck. And, you know, if you want to draw a little bit of comparison, Bergeron, uh, you know, that was able to do, uh, win it six times, if you will. And um, his type of play is is very similar as far as, you know, being very good offensively, creating a lot of things, and also being able to do job on the defensive side. And he... Uh, he goes up against some of the top uh, lines, top sentiment in the league, and uh, he always surprised me on how well he handles himself with guys that are a lot bigger and a lot stronger than him, but he's so smart and he's able to uh, use it in such a way that's very, very effective, and he's getting results, uh, like I said, offensively and also uh, shutting down some of the big names uh, from the opposition. So hats off to him for being... Uh, a great two-way player. I don't see why not the future doesn't have him in the in the mix for the Selkie. It's a great comparison to Bergeron. And I know Bergeron had commented on Suzuki recently about the growth in his game and how he's not satisfied with you know just being the same. He wants to get better all the time. And Bergeron won his first Selkie when he was 26. So there's still some runway here still for Suzuki to get into that same like career path. You know, and, and that would be incredibly impressive because, in my opinion, Bergeron's like a top 10 player of the last 20, 30 years. That, that's how much I respect him. So if Suzuki can put himself anywhere near that plane of NHL dominance, that's absolutely incredible news for the Montreal Canadiens. And I think that's kind of what the Canadiens are trying to build here in uh, like you look at Jeff Gordon and Kent Hughes and the model that they are building. It looks very similar to the Boston Bruins with Bergeron Krejci, right? They want that tough back end that are, that's big and they want a lot of depth throughout the lineup with multiple lines that can look like a first line on any given night. That's a pretty good formula for success. I, I'm so impressed by Nick Suzuki. I can't say that I could ever doubt him at this point. Like Art Ross, no. But Selkie, I could see it happen. He just seems unwilling to not get better. <laughs> He's just got that competitive fire that you love to see. And it's been there the whole time, even in junior you know, engineering a reverse sweep in uh, the Ontario Hockey League playoffs. He's been an absolute gamer from day one. Legitimate number one center. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And Mark Bergevin is looking very smart, giving him that long-term contract he did when he did give it to him. If he if he doesn't win a Selkie, though, I think it can be as much about the players, other players' candidates. Like you look at Alexander Barkov. You know, I think back to Brad Park. You'll remember him, Rick. I mean, he never won a Norris Trophy wasn't because he wasn't outstanding. It's because Bobby Orr won it every year. So there might just be a case if Suzuki doesn't win, it might just be a case of other guys ahead of him that are doing just a little bit better. Anyway, that's it for this uh, bonus episode on Hockey Inside Out. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to MontrealGazette.com slash newsletters to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And of course, go to HockeyInsideOut.com every day for all your latest Canadians news. 